India has achieved significant milestones in mega projects and cutting edge technology, ranging from the tallest railroad bridge to the world's largest solar farm. Having followed your comments closely in recent years, it's now the moment to unveil the top 10 mega projects in India. Number 10. The Chenab Bridge $180 million. Numerous ongoing mega projects in India focus on enhancing connectivity across various regions. Among these initiatives is a 1,315-meter-long bridge located in the contentious Jammu and Kashmir region. Soaring 359 meters above the Chenab River, it surpasses the height of the Eiffel Tower, securing its position as the world's tallest railway bridge. Prior to the bridge's completion, the sole land route connecting Kashmir to the rest of the country relied on the Srinagar Jammu National Highway. Unfortunately, this route faced significant disruptions during harsh winters, leading to closure for several weeks annually. Fortunately, the upcoming opening of the Chenab Bridge later this year will address this issue. Beyond providing an alternative land route, the bridge will also serve strategic purposes, enabling India to exert greater control in the region. Number 9. The Palais Royal in Mumbai $380 million Mumbai, India's financial capital, serves as the epicenter of skyscrapers in the country, hosting nearly every towering structure. The tallest among them is the 320-meter-high Palais Royal, whose completion has faced years of delays. Initially heralded in 2008 as the nation's first super-tall skyscraper, Palais Royal was envisioned as a residential haven for the city's burgeoning elite. However, it became entangled in various legal disputes, resulting in prolonged delays and escalating costs. Despite the legal challenges, construction persisted and the building reached its peak in 2018. Subsequently, work on the facade and interiors experienced additional interruptions. In 2019, the skyscraper was auctioned for a mere $85 million, gaining approval for construction from the country's top court. While construction has pressed on, uncertainties linger about the high-rise's functionality and its potential occupancy. The Palais Royal is now scheduled for completion in December 2023, with a budget exceeding $380 million. Despite these substantial costs, when compared to subsequent mega-projects, the expenses remain relatively manageable. Number 8. Zojila and Zimor Tunnel Projects $1.2 billion Kashmir is the focal point of a billion-dollar project involving the construction of tunnels to establish a connection between the valley and Ladakh. Among the crucial tunnels are Zojila and Zimor, situated on the srinagar Leh Highway. The Zimor Tunnel is designed to link Srinagar and Ladakh, providing access to these regions throughout winter via a 6.5-kilometer route. The more extensive Zojila Tunnel, spanning 14 kilometers, will connect Leh and Srinagar. Notably, Zojila Tunnel is being constructed in one of India's most challenging terrains, encompassing the Zojila Pass, situated at an elevation of 3,500 meters. Once completed, it'll stand as one of the highest vehicular tunnels globally. The targeted completion date for both tunnels is 2024, and the government is already outlining plans to expand the network in the ensuing years. Number 7. Mumbai Coastal Road Project – $1.7 billion in addition to the construction of towering skyscrapers, Mumbai is currently undergoing significant infrastructure enhancements in 2023. The prevailing issue of congestion causing considerable inconvenience for commuters, with average vehicle speeds remaining below 25 km per hour, is being addressed through a series of transformative projects. With an investment of $1.7 billion, the city is set to benefit from a 29-kilometer coastal road where vehicles are expected to achieve an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. This route includes two-kilometer-long twin tunnels positioned beneath the Arabian Sea. The initial 10-kilometer phase of the project 
linking Princess Flyover Road with Warley Sea Link, is already 75% complete and is slated to open for traffic by the year's end. Number 6. Navi Mumbai International Airport – $2.3 billion This initiative is a crucial step in addressing the congestion challenge faced by Mumbai, given its status as the financial capital of the country. Mumbai, being India's most frequented city, is served by only one major international airport. Despite the Mumbai International Airport having the capacity to accommodate over 50 million passengers annually, it operates at full capacity most days, hampered by the availability of just one runway. The potential for expansion within the existing premises is limited, resulting in airlines struggling to secure slots for additional flights. To alleviate this issue and ease congestion at the current airport, a private conglomerate undertook the development of a new airport in 2017. The first phase of the project is scheduled for completion next year, providing relief for approximately 20 million passengers using the city's primary airport. Subsequent phases will be executed over the next decade, bringing the total construction cost to $2.3 billion. The Navi Mumbai Airport is poised to have an annual capacity of handling 90 million passengers, positioning it among the largest airports globally. While the airport effectively addresses a significant congestion problem, some aviation experts and activists express concerns about the chosen site. They argue that the current location, in close proximity to major bird sanctuaries, puts aircrafts at risk of bird strikes. Next up, we have number 5, the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, $2.4 billion. A significant addition to the enhanced transportation system is the 22-kilometer six-lane sea bridge linking central Mumbai with Navi Mumbai. The necessity for a sea link has long been recognized to bring Mumbai into closer connectivity with major cities like Nagpur, Goa, and Pune. However, Concrete proposals did not materialize until 2004, and the initial four attempts to commence construction faced setbacks due to unrealistic bids from various contractors. In 2018, the government of Maharashtra took a different approach by awarding two separate contracts for the construction of the Trans Harbor Link. This strategic decision proved effective in eliminating construction delays, allowing the link to be ready for traffic within just five years. Starting in 2024, it is anticipated to accommodate 70,000 vehicles daily, with average speeds reaching 100 km per hour. Number 4. Dalara Solar Park – $3.2 billion India's rise as a technological powerhouse in recent years is inevitably accompanied by advancements in the realm of renewable energy. The government has set an ambitious goal in generating 175 gigawatts of power from renewable sources in the coming years, with the Dalara Solar Park playing a pivotal role in achieving that objective. The project is unfolding in two phases integrated with the Dalara Smart City Initiative and is poised to deliver a total of 5 gigawatts of energy, establishing itself as the largest solar park globally. The inaugural phase of the project is presently in progress and is slated for completion by the year's end. The entire undertaking is projected to be finalized by 2030, incurring a total cost exceeding $3 billion. However, this substantial valuation pales in comparison to the exorbitant sums spent on realizing India's top three mega projects. Number 3. Sardar Saravar Dam – $8.2 billion The equitable distribution of water resources among India's vast population remains a significant challenge for the nation. One initiative aimed at addressing these concerns is the Narmada Valley Development Project. Originally proposed in the 1940s, the plan involved the construction of a series of dams and canal projects along the valley. However, like many water and power distribution schemes, the project has been embroiled in controversy for decades, primarily due to its social and environmental impacts. The largest dam built within the basin is the Sardar Sarovar Dam 
where construction commenced in 1987. Over the next 30 years, the project encountered environmental campaigns, prolonged legal battles, and disputes among rival states. Ultimately, the 1,450-megawatt hydroelectric power project was initially inaugurated in 2017, with construction costs reaching $8.2 billion. The dam now serves the purpose of irrigating land and providing electricity across four Indian states. Number 2. Gift City, Gujarat – $11 billion Expanding on its recent accomplishments, India aims to compete on par with global financial centers such as the United States, the United Kingdom, and Singapore. Leading this endeavor is the Gujarat International Finance Tech City, which has successfully attracted major financial players worldwide. The construction of this $11 billion business district commenced in 2013, encompassing banks, capital market entities, insurance companies, and manufacturing units. Presently, the 900-acre site hosts over 200 operational business entities, with international exchanges experiencing a daily turnover of $4 billion. Key occupants within the Special Economic Zone include Bombay Stock Exchange, Brokers Forum, and the National Stock Exchange. Additionally, it houses India's inaugural bullion exchange, contributing to establishing international standards for gold pricing benefiting the world's largest gold importers. Currently designated as a smart city, India's most expensive tech hub is poised to transform into a global city, with the government approving plans to triple its size. However, India is envisioning an even more expansive mega-project, double in scale and cost. Number 1. Dilara Smart City – $22 billion as a component of the multi-billion dollar Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, this project has rapidly gained momentum. Delara Smart City is slated to feature a comprehensive infrastructure, encompassing high-speed rails, expressways, and a new international airport. The city will serve as a host for major manufacturing industries, including electronics, aviation, and defense. Spanning one and a half times the size of Mumbai, it is anticipated to accommodate a population exceeding 2 million people. Currently, the focus is on the ongoing work in the first phase, concentrating on enhancing infrastructure in the central business district. Subsequent phases will involve the development of the city's landscape and the integration of nearly 200,000 people into a growing society. The project, unfolding over 15 years, will be completed in six stages. Delara sets the precedent for eight additional industrial cities planned for the future, thereby transforming India's urban landscape. Despite the apparent grandeur, India's extensive smart city initiatives, including projects like Delara Smart City, have faced criticism. Detractors argue that such endeavors reflect utopian urban planning with results that may not justify the capital required for construction and operation. Diverting resources to these projects also raise concerns about neglecting existing urban centers in dire need of upgrades. Nevertheless, the government, led by Narendra Modi, appears undeterred by the criticism and has allocated additional funds for these developments. Share your thoughts in the comments below on which of these projects impresses you the most and suggest other notable projects in India for us to cover. And if you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.